Welcome to Education for Next Generation. Myself, Mrs. Mini Saji. Today, going to discuss a tenth class topic, respiration. We all knew that we all eat food, and all we are getting energy from the food. The food which we consume that is undergoing oxidation process and then releases energy. So, we are going to discuss today. about the respiration and the energy releasing system as we have discussed in previous chapter in nutrients how to gather the nutrients from the food sources how to extract the nutrients from the food sources now we are going to discuss about how this food is undergoing oxidation process in cellular level and we will get the energy from that for that we are going to discuss about the some of the terms which are like respiration respiration is the process in which the food is undergoing oxidation in presence of oxygen complete oxidation of food material after large amount of energy is released and the end product carbon dioxide and water is also formed so we can write a equation for this like here 6 co2 will be the end product water is that end product and 686 kilo calorie energy is released these are the end products of the respiration process the entire reaction we can write like this or one molecule we can take it to make it easy 6 c6h12o6 which is the glucose plus six molecules of oxygen is required when it is an aerobic respiration then it forms six carbon dioxide plus six molecule of water and energy is released this energy is 686 kilo calorie energy now let us write that definition for this process as seeing this equation we can describe it more better like respiration it is a process in which food material is oxidized in presence of oxygen and produce carbon dioxide and water the entire sequence releases large amount of energy is released in this entire sequence we can see that whenever we will describe about respiration it means that oxidation of food material not that breathing in and breathing out here we can see that glucose oxygen is used end product carbon dioxide and water and energy is released we can see a difference here with 
nutrient where we have studied about photosynthesis process. Respiration is a reverse reaction of the photosynthetic process where we have studied 6 CO2 and water combines and forms glucose and oxygen. Now we are utilizing that food material glucose and oxygen and producing carbon dioxide, water and energy. So all living forms whether they are unicellular or multicellular all needs energy. This currency or energy currency is required for doing our all metabolic work and all the living work activities and simultaneously making our all cells alive. Types of respiration. There are two types of respiration. One is aerobic respiration. And second one is anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration, as the word itself releases, that aerobic respiration needs oxygen for that process. So, oxygen is required. In this process, another one more process is there which we call it anaerobic process. So, some of the living organism aerobic oxidation of food material takes place, we can say aerobic respiration, and some other anaerobic respiration takes place without oxygen. respiration takes place. Aerobic respiration where it takes place here aerobic re respiration occurs in cytoplasm of a cell and mitochondria. Here in anaerobic respiration usually seen in prokaryotes like bacteria in that only plasma membrane and cytoplasm between take part in this oxidation. Here in aerobic respiration, the end product is seen as mentioned above carbon dioxide and water are the end product. Ethyl alcohol is the end product here and CO2. Large amount of energy like 686 kilocalorie is formed in this process. Here only less amount of energy like 56 kilocalorie is formed which is equal to 2 ATP molecule and it is equal to that uh, 38 molecules of ATP. So this way respiration can be classified in two ways aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Both aerobic and anaerobic respiration takes place in all living forms. Aerobic respiration we can see in higher animals and plants. Anaerobic respiration we can see in bacteria. Now let us see what is the difference between that respiration and breathing.
respiration it is a we can say is a physiological process and here it is a physical process breathing means taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide this is the simplest form of this now technically we are writing that breathing process means inhalation of oxygen and exhalation of carbon dioxide this is a physical process and it is a physiological process which takes place in cellular level when we let us see the breathing process as we said that it is a physical process in which that breathing from the pathway if we see we can see that from nostrils air passes through the nostrils to the nasal cavity nasal cavity to it opens with nasal nares nasal nares opens into pharynx pharynx opens into trachea trachea opens into bronchus bronchus opens into bronchioles bronchioles at the end connects in air sacs or we can call it as alveoli this is the pathway in which just the exchange of gas takes place from nostrils to nasal cavities till pharynx trachea in chest trachea divides into two tubes which we call it as bronchus bronchus further enters into the lungs and divides into fine tubules which are called as bronchioles bronchioles ends in air sacs where the exchange of gases takes place when we are inhaling or inhalation time more oxygen from that air is consumed when we are exhaling the exhaling air contains more carbon dioxide inhalation of air or inhale inhalation time oxygen is more in that air nearly 21% of air and carbon dioxide is just 0.03% now exhalation time oxygen comes down to 16% and carbon dioxide increases in more amount so this is considered as only a physical process coming to respiration once the exchange of gases takes place from the air sacs the diffusion mechanism is going on in air sacs so blood capillaries which are present in the uh, supplied in the air sacs from there oxygen is taken away to the blood vessels and blood vessels give out carbon dioxide this air sacs from that blood can carries the oxygen and food material both and it is transporting to each and every living cells each and every living cell inside when the nutrients and oxygen is reaching the oxidation of food material takes place in cytoplasm of the cell and mitochondria complete oxidation after carbon dioxide and water is formed glucose break down into smallest 
units like CO2 and water. By when the bonds are breaking between that glucose molecule, large amount of energy is released. That energy we are using and all living things are using for their biological process. So it is also considered as an important life process. Let us see the history of this entire process, understanding and their mechanism. Now let us see today about respiration mode.